after Web 2.0 and the booms of marketplaces and social networks, now it's time for Web 3.0 based on the blockchain. What will the future be like without centralized companies and how will be data ownership in next generation of web? Hi, today in CryptoMarker, I'm going to talk about Web 3.0 and its features. To understand better, it's helpful to break the web's short history into three parts. Web 1.0 read-only web, Web 2.0 read-write, and Web 3.0 read-write-execute web. Basically, this first generation of the web consisted of a few people creating web pages and content for a large group of readers, allowing them to access facts, information, and content from the sources. This read-only web limited the role of a user to read information provided by the content producers without being given the chance to review and give feedback. Web 2, described as a second generation of the World Wide Web, mainly focused on the people's ability to collaborate and share information online. Instead of companies providing content for users, they also began to provide platforms to share user-generated content and engage in user-to-user -user interactions like YouTube and Facebook. The democratic nature of Web 2.0 gave equal chance to all to post their comments. However, too much information posted by many people confused their readers. Although in Web 2.0 users could create content, they didn't own it or benefit from its monetization. And finally, we come to the latest web version. Web3 is a blockchain-integrated internet or an internet where cryptocurrencies and NFTs are built into the platforms you use. In more specific way, we can say Web3 is an internet owned by users. That's the dream of crypto boosters who say the integration of blockchain technology will lead to an egalitarian internet. Gavin Wood, founder of blockchain infrastructure company Parity Technologies, coined the term Web 3.0 in 2014, believes decentralized technologies are the only hope of preserving liberal democracy. Instead of being stored on servers as it is now, the data that makes up the internet would be stored on the network. Any changes to or movement of that data would be recorded on the blockchain, establishing a record that would be verified by the entire network. In theory, this prevents bad actors from misusing data while establishing a clear record of where it's going. A blockchain-centric internet would in theory make it harder to manipulate and control data. Since data would be decentralized, no gatekeeper would have control of it, meaning that they couldn't bar anyone's access to the internet. An example of Web3 application might be a peer-to-peer -peer payment app that works on a blockchain. Instead of using a bank, people could pay for goods or services using a decentralized app made for payments. Before the transaction is finalized, it would have to be verified by the network and then coded into the digital ledger of the blockchain. Web3 users retain control over their data and content, and they can sell or trade their data without losing ownership, risking privacy, and relying on intermediaries. For example, you're playing a Web2 game. If you purchase an in-game item, it is tied directly to your account. If the game creators delete your account, you will lose these items. Web3 allows for direct ownership through non-fungible tokens. No one, not even the game's creator, has the power to take away your ownership. And if you stop playing, you can sell or trade your in-game items on open markets. Commercialization of Web3.0 protocols, which manifest as fungible utility tokens, Further blurs the lines with diverse financial innovation products introduced by DeFi, products that are also tokenized. So while decentralization is the underlying theme and the wallet and the tokens are fundamental constructs, these blurring lines are quite profound. To know more about DeFi, watch our video about it. Both DeFi and Web3 stand to completely reshape the way consumers manage their finances. They hold the promise of truly peer-to-peer -peer financial services, such as lending, borrowing, payment, and insurance. To really understand Web3, we need to take a look at its key features, such as Semantic Web. The Semantic Web is developed to create and share content through search and analysis, based on comprehension, not keywords. Natural Language Understanding By combining semantic capabilities with natural language processing, computers can understand information on a human-like level to provide faster and more relevant results. Connectivity or ubiquity Web 3.0 is based on IoT sensors and makes the Internet available to everyone, anywhere, at any time, without the need for a computer or smartphone. 
It's easy to confuse Web 3.0 with the metaverse, but there are big differences between them. The objective of Web3 is to keep the Internet out of the monopoly of tech giants and make it public control property. On the other hand, tech mammoths are trying to acquire metaverse firms to control this world already. Web3 is a decentralized concept built on distributed technologies such as blockchain and DAO. While the metaverse can be either centralized, owned by a centralized company like Meta, or decentralized. If users' ownership is prioritized, then it is important that the implementation of the metaverse be a decentralized one. Apple's Siri uses speech recognition along with artificial intelligence to be able to perform complex and personalized commands. Stirmit is a decentralized reward platform that runs entirely on the Smith blockchain social media model. It rewards content creators or bloggers with cryptocurrencies for contributing content on the site. eChat is a Web3 app that is powered by a decentralized blockchain. Essentially, it is a secure messenger but is also known as the fastest growing social network that is used to send cryptocurrency. Should your business invest in Web3.0? One thing is clear. Businesses should not ignore Web3, as it will have a tremendous impact on multiple spheres from banking and finance to asset management. For example, rather than joining a centralized bank, users can access a global suite of financial products by enabling those services to interact directly with their digital wallets. It is so clear that Web3.0 will make use of NFTs and digital assets which allow users to monetize their skills in new ways and which presents businesses with multiple investment opportunities.